Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Welcome to Tie Game Nation Entertainment. I am your host, Tie Game Michael. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, comment, and share this video because we got some things to talk about. You know, we're going to talk about it. And unfortunately, this is something that has to be talked about that I really don't want to talk about it, to be truthful. I'm hoping, you know, you're still clamoring that it's not true. But according to all the the reports that's coming out, my favorite basketball player, um, Kobe Bean Bryant, has officially passed away. And I'm and I'm and I'm upset because like stuff like this just kind of happened out of nowhere. You know, you really don't have the words. You know, you really don't. You really can't put it into words. And anybody who follows me know that I have been enjoying life with my twin babies. And I haven't done a video in a while. And then I, you know, I get on Facebook and I see one of my homies posts. Oh, this can't be true. R.I.P. Kobe. And I'm like. R.I.P. Kobe, that don't even make no sense. And of course, I go, I search it up, and to hear this unspeakable news that Kobe has passed away in a helicopter crash. And it's just like, damn. You search, and you're like, okay, let me, you know, first thing I did, I went to ESPN. And I'm like, okay, if it's true, as soon as I click on ESPN, it'll be breaking news. I click on it. I don't see nothing about it. So I must have got there too early. But then I, you know, I type in, I go to Google, I type in Kobe Bryant dead and just a whole bunch of news articles, reputable um, news people like TMZ, all the news stations, New York Post, all reporting the same thing. So I'm about to go ahead and read y'all, read y'all this piece from the New New York Post. And I'm going to give you my thoughts about how I feel about the situation. And I'm mad that I, you know, I have to, I could, I'm not able to do this video like I want to. The battery on my camera is dead right now. But. I was like, man, I, I have to do a video on this. He, he's my favorite player. He's my favorite basketball player. Kobe Bryant to me. Kobe Bryant's the greatest basketball player of all time. Better than Michael Jordan. Better than Kareem. Better than LeBron. That's just my personal opinion. But the New York Post reads, Kobe Bryant dead in, Cali in California helicopter crash. Legendary NBA player Kobe Bryant has died in a California helicopter crash, reports said Sunday he was 41. Bryant was among at least four people traveling in his private helicopter over Calabasas when a fire broke out, sending the, sending the chopper spiraling from the sky, according to TMZ Sports. The crash occurred. Around 10 a.m. local time and foggy conditions in the hills overlooking Calabasas with the chopper sparking a bush fire on impact that hampered initial rescue efforts. So he crashed the helicopter and went up in flames, which, you know, made it difficult to get to him. They said there was no survivors and the cause of the crash is under investigation, according to TMZ. Authorities investigating the crash confirmed to KTLA, um, KTLA Channel 5 that at least five people were killed in the crash, but did not identify the victims by name. Bryant's wife, Vanessa, was not among those aboard the chopper, according to reports. He is also survived by the couple's four daughters, with the youngest born just last June. Bryant star starred for two decades with the Los Angeles Lakers, winning five championships and making 18 all-star games before hanging up his basketball shoes following the 2016 season. The stunning death of the sweet shooting guard came just hours after he toasted 
fellow NBA icon and current Laker LeBron James for passing him for third place on the league's all-time scoring list. Continuing to move the game forward, Ed King James wrote Brian on Saturday night and what will prove to be his final tweet. Must respect, my brother. Brian concluded the message with an emoji of a bicep flexing and the hashtag 33644. One, one point more than he scored in his illustrious career. Brian was considered a lot to be among the next class inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame set to be announced next month. This stuff right here is it's still so real. I'm still in a state of shock right now to actually be reading this. And it's just it's one of those situations that lets you know that. You really can't you can't take life for granted. You got to live life to the fullest because you can really go at any time. I know Kobe Bryant did not wake up today saying, oh, I'm going to pass away today. I know he didn't send that tweet to LeBron James saying, oh, this is going to be my last tweet. And you just never know. You know, prayers go out to Kobe Bryant and his family. Prayers go out to the family members of the other members that was on that chopper. You know, I haven't seen any of their names yet, so I don't know who he was riding with, but they family going through it, too. I'm sure they had family that was hoping that they was going to make it to their destination as well. Man, this is. This right here is surreal. And like if you didn't get to grow up. You know, watching Kobe Bryant, and you definitely miss something special. You know, man, slam dunk champion, five time NBA champion, third all time on the scoring list. To me, like I said, he's the best basketball player ever. He's definitely, to me, the best Laker who ever threw on the jersey. Went out his last game, scored 60 points his last, his final NBA game. Practically snapped his leg and still went to go shoot his free throws. Like, his attitude was stone cold, which is why you got the Mamba mentality. Kobe Bryant was an assassin. He was a killer on the basketball court. And he's definitely going to be missed. And you you can you can guarantee that he was already going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He he's definitely getting in now. No questions asked about it. Won three championships with Shaq. Then Shaq left. Got traded. Then won two more championships with you know Paul um, Paul Gasol and the guys. Man. You know, I just I just feel sorry for their families because I'm sure his daughters and his wife was like, oh, daddy's, you know, doing what he normally do. He gonna be home. Can't wait for daddy to get home. And then they got to read this news right here. Fortunately, went none of them with him. I don't know, man. Y'all go ahead and leave a comment. How did y'all feel about Kobe Bryant? Did y'all think he was the greatest? Y'all think is he in your top five? Is he in your top ten? Please like, subscribe, leave a comment at the bottom. Have a discussion. And rest in peace, Kobe Bean Bryant.